Hi team, we've talked about the function of buffers, that is to protect the pH of a solution, but today we're going to talk about making buffers and some of the math behind it. Let's consider this problem. We want to know the pH of a solution, a buffer solution made by mixing 0 0.030 moles of HCl with 0 0.05 moles of sodium acetate. So we can write sodium CH3COO, sodium acetate in two liters of solution. Now we can easily uh, figure out which of these is going to be our weak acid. So this acetate is going to be our, actually it's the conjugate base, and here's a strong acid. So for this conjugate base, the acid would be acetic acid, and the Ka value for acetic acid is 1.77 times 10 to the minus 5. To figure out the pKa value, we would take the negative log, base 10, of Ka, and the negative log of 1.77 times 10 to the minus 5th is 4.76. Why did I calculate the pKa in the first place? I just want to remind you about the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation, which tells us pH is equal to the pKa of a buffer plus the log of the concentration of the conjugate base over the acid. We'll be able to use this equation to figure out the pH of the solution. And in order to do that, we need the pKa. Since we were given the Ka, we can calculate the pKa very easily. Now let's think about this part of the equation where we need to look at how much of the solution will be in conjugate base form and how much will be in acetic acid form. In this problem, we're adding acid. Since we're adding acid, that's going to decrease the pH. And if you can picture a titration curve in your head, the lower the pH, the more of that HA form of the weak acid we will have. So we're lowering the pH with HCl. We're going to have more HA. Since we're starting with 0.05 moles of CH3COO minus acetate, we can think about splitting these 0.05 moles into two portions. One portion that will remain CH3COO minus acetate and one portion that will be protonated into CH3COOH, acetic acid. Well, how much is going to get protonated? Well, we've got 0 0.03 moles of HCl. Since HCl has one protonating unit, it's only got one proton here, let's take 0 0.03 moles of the acetate, um, and have it convert to acetic acid. So underlying this 0 0.03 moles of CH3COOH is really 0 0.03 moles of H from HCl and 0 0.03 moles of the acetate we were starting with. Okay, Those two summed together are going to create 0 0.03 moles of acetic acid. And if we started with 0 0.05 over here, we're going to have 0 0.02 moles left as the conjugate base acetate. All right, we've figured out the different proportions that are going to be present as the conjugate base and as the acid form of acetic acid. 
And we know from our earlier calculation that the pKa of acetic acid is 4.76. Look at what we're ending up with in this reaction. We're going to have 0 0.03 moles of acetic acid and 0 0.02 of the conjugate base. Would you expect the pH of this solution to be greater than the pKa or less than the pKa? Because we have a greater proportion of the acid form, 0.03 moles compared to only 0.02 of the base form, this is actually the pH is going to be lower than the pKa. Let's use the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation and actually get a number and see if our prediction is correct. So the pH is equal to the pKa plus the log of the conjugate base over the conjugate, well, it's not the conjugate, it's just the acid, okay? So what is our pH, knowing that our pKa is 4.676, and we've got the log of, here's our A minus, 0 0.02 over 0 0.03. Using a calculator to do this math, the log of 0 0.02 over 0 0.03 is negative 0 0.176. So this makes sense. I'm going to rewrite it over here. We've got 4.76, which is our pKa, minus 0 0.176. We're lowering the pH from the pKa. So the pH we're going to be at is lower than our pKa. Completing the math here, the pH will be equal to 4.58 when we've combined together the HCl and the sodium acetate. Let's do one more question to practice using the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation to make buffers. In this problem, we want to make one liter of a 0 0.3 molar solution of acetate buffer with a pH of 4.46. That's what we want to create for an experiment that we're doing in lab, but what we have to work with is a two molar acetic acid solution and a 2.5 molar KOH basic solution. And as we just calculated, the pKa of acetic acid is 4.76. I'm going to put the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation over here so we can reference it as we go along. Okay. I'm noticing a few things about this problem. First, we already have the pH and the pKa to fill in to the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. The other thing that I'm noticing is that I want to make an acetate solution and I'm starting with acetic acid. So we can use those two factors to look at this third part of the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation, the ratio of conjugate base to acid. In fact, let's try and solve that. We can fill in the pH 4.46 equal to the pKa 4.76 plus the log of the concentration of acetate over the concentration of acetic acid. If we simplify that, we'll get, we'll just move uh, 4.73 over to the other side of the equation. We can end up with 0 0.3 equal to the log of the concentration of acetate over the concentration of acetic acid. How can we get to this ratio inside the log? We'll just take the anti-log 
or 10 to the power of. So let's do 10 to the power of both sides here. 10 to the power of negative 0 0.3 is equal to the concentration of acetate over the concentration of acetic acid. Solving that antilog, 10 to the negative 0.3 is equal to 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 is the ratio of acetate to acetic acid here. Another way we could write that is 1 over 2, 0 0.5. That means 1 part of acetate to 2 parts of acetic acid. Now if we look back at what we want in this buffer, we want 0 0.3 molar. So convenient, we can really have 0 0.1 molar of acetate and 0 0.2 molar acetic acid, which will give us a total of 0 0.3 molars in the solution. At this point, of course, we don't have any acetate. We only have acetic acid. So we're going to need to add 0 0.3 molar acetic acid and then convert some of it into acetate. Well, how much volume is 0 0.3 molar acetic acid? We have 2 molar acetic acid, that is 2 moles per liter. And we want 0 0.3 molar, that is 0 0.3 moles per liter. Let's do some math. 2 moles per liter times, I'm not sure how much liters we need, gives us 0 0.3 moles. If we divide both sides by 2, we get x is equal to 0 0.15 moles per liter or 150 milliliters. Great, we'll take 150 mils of the 2 molar acetic acid and that will give us 0 0.3 moles in the final solution. Next, what do we do with this KOH? Recall now we have 0 0.3 moles of acetic acid, and based on our Henderson-Hasselbalch equation, we want to convert 0 0.1 moles of this acetic acid into acetate and leave 0 0.2 moles as acetic acid. How do we convert this 0.1 mole into acetate? Simple, we'll add 0 0.1 moles of KOH. And that will combine together to form 0 0.1 moles of acetate. We're left with another math problem, however. How many mils is 0 0.1 mole of KOH. Let's do the conversion. 0 0.1 moles. We need to cross divide. We've got 2.5 moles per liter of KOH. That's the concentration up here. And we need to convert to milliliters. So one liter is the same as 1,000 milliliters. The number of mils containing 0 0.1 moles of KOH is 40 mils of 2.5 molar KOH. Let's put that up here as well. Last but not least, we need to write this all the way we would uh, perform it in a lab. And I think that you know that it wouldn't be safe to combine a strong base like this directly with an acid. So what we can do uh, to make the buffer is first add the water that we need here. 
Uh, remember that we want a total of one liter. So this is 190. We need 810 mils of water. We can add our 40 mils of 2.5 molar KOH and our 150 mils of 2 molar acetic acid. And then together, that will make 1 liter of 0 0.3 molar acetate at a pH of 4.46. Now, let's come up with an experiment we need to use this buffer. See you in another video.